Hi. <gasps> I'm Celestia. Did you see that? Yeah. Good morning, ever. No, wait. We're into the afternoon, aren't we? Good afternoon, Everfree Northwest! How are y'all doing? Good? We have made it to Sunday. It is our last day of the convention, which means we're gonna make we're gonna make the most of it, right? Yeah? Well thank you all for being here. This is the Bronies React panel. Uh, I'm AC Race Fest, so again, thank you all for coming on out on the, your uh, Sunday afternoon. That's what this is. Okay, I'm always for me, whatever panel is the first one of the day is always like the good morning panel to me. And I, uh, yeah, so it's, it's morning. How many of you feel like it's still morning? I can't be the only one. How many, uh, is there anybody who hasn't slept like at this convention? You all are doing, put your hand down. You all are doing so good because that's, we used to have that where like you would see a little bit more people be like, I'm going for the 48. I'm going for the 72. I'm going to make it. And it's like, don't do that to yourself. Get some sleep. So that's when they started coming out with like the, what is it, the 621? Six, uh, six hours of bathing, two hours of sleep, and then uh, one meal every hour. So as long as you guys are following that, you're going to be good. But again, thank you all for coming on out. I can't believe how long we've been doing this. 12 years, guys. 12 years of Everfree Northwest. Before we get things started, again, it is Sunday. We are we are right, like the light's at the end of the tunnel for the con, but it has been, have you guys all had a great time? Woo! None of this is possible without the incredible staff here at Everfree Northwest. That includes the AV, all the volunteers. Let's make some noise for them. And with that, what do you guys say we get uh, this panel going, huh? All right. So again, this is the Bronies React panel, and uh, I'm gonna be bringing some people up. Why don't I bring up? Hmm. Uh, so I have I have like 600 partners in crime, right? But why don't I bring one up that uh, I'm officially a partner in crime with? How about I bring up Toodles? <laughs> Saber tried to run up on stage. You guys didn't see it. Sure, do you like that seat? You don't like that seat. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, yeah, since, since he's so anxious, anxious to get up here, Saber Spark! <laughs> sit, sit, have a sit, seat. I like that, I like that you didn't want to be between, like Sarah's like, I'm, I'm gonna be on the edge, away from the rest. What, I can't hear you. I still can't hear you. <laughs> I told them not to turn your mic on. <laughs> Where are you going to sit? I'm going to sit there. I'm, I'm going to manage the camera. Uh, let's bring up some more, my friends. How about Dusty Cat? Oh, then I'll, I can introduce you last. All right, I'll go back down. Uh, why don't we bring up to the stage Jack Blade? Make some noise for Silver Quill! And last but certainly not least, Dusty Cat! There we go. Coordination. Is your mic working now? Yes. Yeah! Uh, good morning, everyone. So, uh, we have a, a little bit of a, uh, a, a different table set up, and I kind of liked it, because they're like, now we can look at each other. Because usually I'm doing this, going like, what's, what are they saying down there? So uh, we're going to try this out. Uh, I feel like it's like a local government, you know, city <laughs> yeah. council. Uh, no, you can't build that fence. Denied. 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 That's the referendum on the Sunny Scar Scout victory pose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, uh, who's never been to a Bronies Rack panel before? Okay. Who has no idea what Bronies React even is? It's all right. It's okay that we do have some hands going up. Uh, this is part of the fun of being at a convention and going, I don't know what this panel's for, but I'm going to show up. Thank you for coming. That you had no idea what you were doing. We're certain to disappoint you. So, yeah. Um, 
but uh, effectively, Bronies React is a series that started way back 12 years ago, 2012. I know, you feel it? <laughs> Do we have any, anyone in the audience who is younger than the age of 12, by the way? Good, because we're oh, in really the old. retirement home. <laughs> um, we, uh, yeah, I mean, this, this was, uh, again, it's a, it's a React series, uh, hence the name, where a bunch of us for many, many years, uh, some newer, some have been around for a very long time. Why'd you look at me when you said that? <laughs> for, uh, <laughs> almost too long, if you know what I mean. Uh, we, uh, we've been, yeah, doing this React series for just so long, and, and it's been so much fun. We've had so many great experiences, so many wonderful panels throughout the years and terrible panels throughout the years and and we can't wait to see what this is going to be uh but what this it's going to be a train wreck <laughs> why do you say that dusty why because always it's like, <laughs> we don't we don't need so we're gonna just scream at the top of my lungs we'll, we'll, we'll get those two wired mics a work in here momentarily but uh Wow, we, there we go, I hear Dusty. Ah, there we go. A-B, 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 So, uh, yeah, this is going to be a, a Q&A panel. The way that this is going to go is up to you guys. Whatever questions you come up, uh, it doesn't have to be about the Bronies React series. It could be for any of these content creators up here. Uh, don't feel like, i got to ask a question specific to Bronies React. You don't. This is an opportunity for you to be able to ask any question to anybody. Uh, and if it has to do with Bronies React, if it doesn't, it could be a random question. As you already know, it's just got to be PG. So, just like every other one of our panels have been all week and long, okay? <laughs> Without fail. Without fail, that's right. So, uh, the, this is always the fun part, because now we get to see who's willing to be the first question of the day. I, you stood up. You, you stood up. You don't want to be the first one? Do you volunteer as tribute? I got a round of applause for the first question. Yes. And again, I want to stress this, don't be shy. If you want to know what our favorite color is, that's a fine question too. If you want to know what we had for breakfast, fine question as well. That's a very good question, actually. And you can adjust that, uh, that mic. <laughs> You're tall. Actually, we're going to request that everyone just bends down to it. And just... You have to kneel down. All right. The first question of the day, round of applause. The golden question. Of all the brownies react that uh, you made, race, what do you consider the best and the worst of all the brownies react that you have ever created? Ooh. Wow. I wasn't <laughs> ready for this intensity. <laughs> I was hoping you'd ask what my favorite color was, and here we are. Oh, man. What's, what's the... I'm trying to think of what's the worst one I've ever created. Probably the first one we did. We, we weren't really... We didn't have a concept yet. It I was mean, basically where we're doing... We were reacting to the teens who were reacting to us. And it was a put-together from what we thought we wanted to do. Right. And then all of a sudden we found our, our concept. And then uh, two or three in, we finally found you finally found that layout. Right, that was hilarious where everybody did their thing. The, the rhythm, because the it, rhythm, yeah, yeah, and it, it did like the series did evolve, which is a good point. I mean, and I don't think it's ever a bad thing that maybe the first of something you make might be considered the worst. Oh yeah, you the, the want very, to improve. The very first, stay burning, my friends. I can't even watch. Yeah, it's horrible, <laughs> horrible. We were watching a stay burning. We were friends. watching. Yes, you yeah. were. Yeah, yeah. Which, which one? one? That was the last one you did. Oh, the one where we uh, signed off. I think so, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going through like old Everfree Network Oh, jeez, those are still up there. Right, yeah. We watched the, uh, the infamous um, Fiesta Equestria <laughs> Bernie <laughs> concert as well. Yeah. Uh, Good stuff. Good yeah. Was anyone here at that first Fiesta Equestria? Did we have any? Did, and no one survived. Okay. <laughs> or remembers. <laughs> oh, chose to forget. No, uh, Fiesta Equestria, that was a, a fun little time out in Texas uh, yeah. for, for three years. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I would say it, it definitely is amongst those early ones. If nothing else, quality control was something that, that I also was willing to really let go by because I was just like, hey, whatever we get, is is good and and then as we progress it's like okay we 
we can make things look a little bit a little bit better yeah. than this. Um, and same with my editing. You know, as as I grew up with the series as an editor, you know, I was like, yeah, I look back at some of the stuff that I, I made originally, and I'm like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah, an early one. The the Bronies react that I'm I'm most proud of to this day. Um, it's it's my personal favorite, and it's for a very sentimental reason. Was the end of Generation Four, mm -hmm. and it it's a it was a massive deal for the entire fandom. So it was a highly anticipated react. Um, I was very excited to put that together. But the the bigger thing for me was uh, that was the one where we brought back everybody, just about everybody that had been part of a Bronies react came back and um, we we had a massive sign up at the end of it talking about what the show meant and, and these were some people some people had only made one appearance uh, in a Bronies react series but they were all people that I had you know great interactions with and I was so thrilled not only not only uh, people that you know were in the in the reacts but also show staff that had never been in the reacts. Yeah, that was I, I even gave you that suggestion because yeah. I had contacts for all the agents and I said, "Hey, what if we do this?" Just Dusty pulled out his uh, I, state yeah, I, I my pulled out my book. state book. Book. My <laughs> address book and I went, "What if we do this?" A mustache. And he was like, well, "Can you do that?" It's like, "I think we can." And I put the idea to the agents and to some of the actors that I I I knew, and they said, oh, yeah, I want to do that. Oh, yeah, I want to do that. And I just kept getting footage and footage and footage, and it's like, yeah. okay. Which, again, for me, it's like, that was amazing to me, that that, that we had that kind of support for the series. And, and as just on a personal level, for me, as someone who's coordinated these Bronies tracks for so many years, to know that there were... That that you know there weren't those like burnt bridges, or I didn't oh, miss yeah. anyone off. We, we didn't burn any bridges. In fact, Larson was great. It's like... Uh, uh, restraining order, Dusty Cat, uh, Jack's Blade. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Restraining order. We've been trying to <laughs> burn the M.A. Larson bridge, and he's going away. He keeps coming back. <laughs> I, I love the one that he, he it was actually in. Remember, you brought him in as a surprise. None yeah. of us knew this, that he brought him in as a surprise guest for one of them. And one scene, it, it basically just brings up a wad of $100 bills and a sunglass and goes... <laughs> yeah. I'll never forget when I was at BernieCon 2019, I'm pretty sure that was the year, when Race was at the top of an escalator talking to some other Bronies, and I just see the corner of my eye, this figure go past me, and it's M.A. Larson, and he just jumps up and he kicks Race super hard in the, like, the leg. Yeah. The, for those of you that have very confused looks, this is a true story. Yeah, this actually Like, he ran up, I saw him running up to me, and it's like that, like, envision if you're in a forest and you see a bear running up to you, and you go like, do I run or do I stay still? Which is the right answer? Why does the bear have wings? And, and he, and I was like, I don't think he's gonna do anything, and he kicks me in the leg, and he loses my leg. And he pulled an immediate U-turn and runs by me and goes, oh my god, I think I hurt him, and ran off. <laughs> Ground going, why? It was a hit and run by anybody Larson. <laughs> at, at least you didn't slap wings on your back and just keep going. No, true, true. No, so we have a lot of stories with M.A. Larson, but uh, yeah, I guess that would be my answer. Good first question, and now we've got a line of QA. Yay! Yay. Hello, QA line. You started the trend, look what you've done. You're the first wildebeest who jumps in the river, and the crocodiles miss you. Yeah. So now they're after these ones. Am I, this, am I the second person to ask a question? Yes, yes. you are. Yes. Um, so this person said uh, you guys were like a deer in headlights, or you were like a deer in headlights when you saw Emmy Larson coming at you. I I, I was like a yeah. If you, if you want to pretend that Emmy Larson's like a car, yeah. <laughs> and a semi truck, if you will. <laughs> so you're saying Emmy Larson is fat? <laughs> He's got a big load. He's got a big load. Yeah. And the key rule is to never move. Larson's track by movement. Yeah. <laughs> So I was just curious, what is each pony here's favorite PMV in the fandom? Ooh. Favorite PMV? Oh. It, it could also be an official one, like the the first Equestria Girls PMV by Hasbro. It's like uh, one of the oh, first. Oh no, there's like so many good oh, PMVs. Yeah. Like, I really, I have like a playlist of some like like I really love the Swagberg Pony Swag one. Oh, I really Swagberg's amazing. That, that was one of my favorites. I also really love the. 
I, do they count as PMV? Like I love the like dun 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 like back in the day. Like I what was that? Like I, I, oh god, I love those back in the day. And then there was the dun 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 Twilight Spark. Like they have those like I love those ones. Like I those type of PMVs. Like I still have like a whole. They were so catchy. Yeah, yeah. They would like have like crazy like little ones like that. But like oh, no, I like. Math. I need to look that. We can watch those later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think my favorite uh, Hasbro one is Fresh Princess of Bell of Ponyville. Oh yeah, that's yeah, a really with, good with one. the spinning <laughs> chair and the everything. They just they copped the whole thing. It was amazing. Yeah, it was so good. Yeah. What was what was the one where it was the the main six, but as really really buff. Oh, oh it was that the JoJo Fr one? Friendship is manly. Yeah, that's more of an animation. Yeah. Fine. And that became a series. Now. He did three of those. He brought in the the, the dazzlings. Nice. And they had the fight. And they had that the JoJo funny. poses. They had the JoJo poses and all that. That was that was awesome. That was I used to be. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't think they're up anymore, but uh, like Beavids, our friend would also. I'm looking through oh, a playlist right now for, of his. Yeah. Henry oh, remember the, the six one he did? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what it's called. That's, yeah. that's what I'm looking for. That's yeah. a good one. He, be, our friend Beavids did like a really great um, PMB was called Six, and the way he like just and he is just immaculate. He's my main editor like, to this day yeah. on my channel. He's, He's a incredible. fantastic editor. Mm -hmm. I didn't know he was. Uh, uh, I didn't know he made PMVs. No, oh, yeah, he made. Oh, yeah, that's what he did in the in the beginning. A lot of people oh, wow. went on. Yeah. on uh, I feel like if we can attest to this uh, with our colleagues too. A lot of like for the early Brony fandom was like this microcosm of talent and like a training ground for us to just kind of cut our teeth. Mm -hmm. Like look at Tombstone. You know, he made his pony songs. And now he's in the FNAF movie doing right. music. That's insane. Yeah. Yeah. He he blew up from your love to now he's a group. Right. He's got five people that call themselves Living Tombstone. He's on tour with costumes. He's, he might as well be freaking, you know, the robots. Yeah, the Daft Punk. He, you know, he's, he's the Daft Punk of of right YouTube. now. And, and you know the best part because we've we've seen Tomb of recent. Oh, and we love the him. The guy he's hasn't amazing. changed a, a bit. bit. He's, yeah, one, he's one of the nice. nicest people you'll ever meet. He's so sweet. He's so nice. I love him to death. All right, hey, hey, we'll, we'll get some checks in the mail from saying that. Yes, <laughs> thank you, Tomb, in advance. Any other any other answers? Are we good? No. Uh, I got two because there was an official Hasbro the first song of Equestria Girls, not the the series, but Pinky doing uh, California Girls. Oh, okay. yeah. 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 No one can yeah. groove like the girls with the hooves. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, that was a, that was a good one. Yeah. But then there was also this. Maybe this qualifies more as animation, but it was called the Way Through Discord. Uh, oh, I've seen that one. It's the 2D one where he's just yeah. scrolling through. Or yeah, scrolling and, through. And, and all this freaky stuff is happening around her. It was based on um, a way through, and I can't even pronounce the underworld, basically. Mm -hmm. And I had these goth friends who absolutely <laughs> were horrified that I was becoming interested in pastel ponies. <laughs> but I started showing them... I started pulling up this video like, no, no, I don't want to watch ponies. Okay, fine, here's the original. But I... I got to them eventually. Right. Nice. Just show them Christmas. That I gets all the goss. I thought you said golf yeah. friends. Golf so. friends? Oh, yeah. The, we oh, were just putting around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, uh, uh. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next question. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Yes. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I, I used to work Navy. Dusty's on it. Dusty. 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 Hey. Thank you, Dusty. Hi, uh, it's an honor to meet you guys. The nice to meet you. <laughs> the first video I ever saw of you guys was reacting to the Fine Brothers uh, React channel. Yep. About those teenagers. Mm -hmm. If you ever got the chance to react to it again, would your opinions be different? Nope. I wasn't in that one, so you could talk. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah. Uh, two of us were in that. So that was Dusty and I. Um, kind of like Dusty said, no, like, for for me, uh, when we made that first React, we went in, I, I kind of, like, told everyone, like, look, the whole point of the video isn't for us to defend ourselves. Because the last thing that works on the internet is trying to defend yourself. <laughs> everyone goes, ah, ha, 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 sure. So, so we're like, I just said, let's just have fun with it. Mm -hmm. Let's have fun with it. And, and some of those iconic moments from Dusty and his, his <laughs> Celestia. Yeah. <laughs> 
There she is. She's waiting for you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, were you one of the teens in it? Is that why no, you're asking? No, oh, yeah. not <laughs> no I'm, I'm 30, but I'm not that <laughs> <bad. laughs> No, like. Fellow millennial. Yeah, no. I, again, I, I don't. Because I never felt like it was necessarily anything that we, we were being like too harsh in regards to the reaction. It was more of like a, oh, like here's them reacting to us, right? Well, what if what if we flung it back and we reacted to them? It's Uno like, reverse Uno reverse cars. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. I would... and, the, and the crazy thing that happened is they turned back around and redid it. They and were. the kid who I said smacking with the pony, right, came back and actually liked the show. He was uh, yeah, yeah, he wearing the shirt. Yeah, he had a shirt. Yeah, he had like a shirt. Yeah, yeah, he, like he said he watched the show and he liked it. Now. Yeah, mm. I did laugh. There was one thing about that though when that came out uh, because it exploded the way it did. Uh, there were so many people that were like, the Fine Brothers now need to react to your reaction to their reaction. You have to tell them. And I'm like, oh yes, they're going to really want to hear from me. I'm sure they love me. You know? But don't worry, the Fine Brothers have made great decisions over there. Uh, yeah, <laughs> totally. Totally. Yeah. I don't even know. I, I, uh, but thank you for your question. Thank and you. nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Him too. Goodbye. <laughs> Hi, Nora. Hi, Nora. I'm glad we're holding your hey, attention. Nora. <laughs> Nora. Oh! Hi. 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 Oh, he's not here! Of course he's Ooh. not. Bye. Oh, Ooh. Burn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. It's good to see you guys again. Hi, Nora. It's good to see you, Jack Slade. Hey. And Sarah. And so my question is, and it's actually inspired this because my dad read this while on a bucket list trip with my mother. So I'm wondering if there's a bucket list trip you or like a trip on your bucket list that you guys want to go on eventually that you've been dying to go on for the longest time like there's a place you've been wanting to go to for the longest time oh. what is it oh. question. we were just kind of talking about this this weekend yeah as far as like, like where would you go a uh, bucket list japan trips? Japan. Uh, yeah, you know, I've, I've never been to Japan, but I always like. Of course, you, always like you, you know what? I, have, have you seen the Bruno Mars in Japan videos that have been out the last? No, week? no, what happened? Basically, he, he got uh, contracted by Don Quixote, okay. which is a, a, a store uh, chain over there, mm -hmm. and basically he just did a Bruno Mars music video through their store. He also <laughs> it's sold out the Tokyo Dome for like he seven sold days. Out the, yeah, he sold nice. out the Tokyo Dome seven days in a row. And I can just see Jack's play doing the same thing. Okay. Right. I'll be. I'll have the video camera, and he's just like dancing through Don Quixote. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah I'll, no, that is one of those things. Though, like, I'm so curious because, like, I know. Um, I think it was you, Dusty. You said like, oh, when you visit there, just like use your phone. Because like, one of the reasons yeah. I didn't initially want to go because it's like I don't speak Japanese fluently, and I was just like, so like, how do I? Communicate and then it's like, oh, yeah, it doesn't Google translate. Use your phone, just Google Translate. I've been there three times so, and Google Translate has not let me down yet. Yeah, so like, yeah, that was one of those things. Where I was like, oh, okay, so like when I have the time to, I would definitely just love to just like go places and see all that stuff there. But like, that is something I definitely want to do for a while. Yeah. Nice. Mm. <sighs> I just, Dusty, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I too have wanted to go to Japan, never been. I uh, want to especially see Tokyo and all the districts. Uh, I also never gotten to go to England. Of all things. Oh, yeah. oh, that's where I'm from. That's on my list. Yes. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. Aren't I on your list too? I mean, you know. Not that list. Okay. <laughs> Dave's on that list. Where? <laughs> you're, you're in the death note. <laughs> I, I like the, uh, like, Japan does sound like a very interesting place to visit, but if I had to bucket list it and I could be airdropped in and then airdropped out, it would be. Zootopia land. Of course, of course, of course. Oh, we can do yeah. airdrop down with a cow. I just don't. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm like, I don't want my airdrop in. <laughs> <laughs> just like, <laughs> just, just uh, right, right there, right can there. Not parachute. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I want to go to New Zealand. I want to just do a big old oh, Tolkien right thing. It's amazing. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, been there, it's amazing. Yeah, I've been told it's amazing. Oh, as far dude, as the mountains and motorcycles the motorcycles around the soft island was uh, the bomb. Awesome. I want to check that one out. I too want to go to New Zealand. More specifically, I want to visit the Shire. <laughs> that's, nice. that's North yeah. Island. You know, I feel like we could we could handle all this if we just smuggled ourselves at Dusty's luggage. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got I got old enough to basically say to my boss, "I'm going to go do these things. You can fire me. I don't give a shit." <laughs> so language. Sorry, PG show. Um, but yeah, it, it just got to a point where you get to this age that you're running out of time. And I will tell you all right now, time is your most important feature. When you start running out of it, 
you start making that list a little bit more important. Yeah. yeah. All right. So but do it. I see you though. You look amazing. Uh, you, look, yeah. you look incredible. Thank you. Thank like, you. And, and again, time's running out. And I went home to see my mom for her birthday in February and saw my twin brother and went, never will I be like that. And I, I just put a recommitment to what Jack's taught me a couple of years ago and just said, you know what? We're gonna get rid of some of this stuff, and we're gonna live to a hundred, whether I like it or not. Hell yeah! Yeah, yeah, that's a, yeah. That's a spirit. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for no your question. Thank you for your question. Imagine doing this at a hundred. Imagine. Mm -hmm. We probably will be. <laughs> <laughs> it's only forty-three more years. Hello. So, uh, three questions: two for one, one for another. Uh, first off, to race. Yes. Are you aware that there is a uh, ripoff series called Brony S React, and one YouTube user called Starstruck is a part of that? I'm I'm not familiar with it, but there there are multiple. Uh, I was gonna say there's multiple spinoffs of Brony's React, and uh, I've always been like cool. So, secondly, another one to race. Uh, what are your thoughts on say? I'm bringing both of these up because one was referenced in the actual riff of, in a riff of the other. What are your thoughts on A, the pod race from Phantom Menace, and two, the Pinchcliffe Grand Prix? Huh. Yeah, this is pod racing. This is mm -hmm. pod racing. Pod racing yeah. is awesome seeing how I'll try I I enjoy seeing different versions of uh, like racing and, and how it's kind of like popped up and what yeah we're gonna a, a picture um, I, I yeah I, I, I dig it I, I like seeing kind of like the different uh, forms of auto racing if you will um, because some of the stuff people come up with like even like the I always forget what's the what's the old like cartoon which one Wacky 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 and, and stuff Wacky. like that mm. where it's you know you, you get like all these like weird vehicles and they're like yeah this is their version of uh, of racing in this universe mm. so I, I always enjoy seeing the different variations and finally for silver right. of these two comics that we of these two comics that of these two comics that are out there which would you rather have would you rather, rather either read or prefer or revisit something like that? Right. Uh, would you rather recommend Spider-Man One More Day or MLPs Romeo and Juliet? Oh, it's no question. It's no question. Okay, neither really lives up to the title, but. I will preserve MLP, Romeo and Juliet and condemn one more day to the fiery pits of hell from which it spawned the idea. For those who don't know, it's a big retcon issue where Spider-Man sells his marriage to the Marvel Devil. Yeah, Mephisto. Mephisto. Yeah. And it's a complete betrayal of the character. I, so he's dumb. never really bounced back from it. Marvel seems to love uh, harassing it, its fans with the idea. They'll always tease, oh, Mary Jane's coming back. Whoops. Hi, Paul. Yeah. <laughs> Paul. Paul. Oh, Paul. Don't Paul be more against. hated than Green Goblin. I hate Paul so much. More than Mephisto. So He's the devil. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, yeah. The idea better. so, mm. so, like, Paul is Mary uh, How do I put this? Romeo and Juliet, My Little Pony Classics, took all the blood, <laughs> gore, and tension out of the Shakespearean play, which made it so famous. And when you water it down, it really loses any meaning. But I will take low meaning and an invitation to read the original to see how it's really done versus why would you do this? <laughs> hey, why? I, I am thankful that the Spider-Man franchise has expanded so much so that Mary Jane and Peter can live happily ever after in anywhere but the comics. All right. well, ultimate Spider-Man. The new ultimate one. Spider. They're doing good with them. Now. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. they are. The nerds. Nerds. Oh, nerds. 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 Look, I could give you an entire symposium on Spider-Man and why Marvel seems to love kicking him to the curb. 
It sells books. It sells books. They love their miles now. Oh, oh I yeah, love miles. He's got a freaking lightsaber. Like, is that a lightsaber? He has like this. He can use like his electricity to like make a sword now. Oh, okay. yeah. It's just like it's crazy. Oh, it's like, that thing. Okay, uh, uh, so welcome to our Spider-Man yeah. panel. <laughs> All right, beyond the spider man All of us off. need to go make. It. Well, th thank you for your questions. Alas, poor Rainbow. Mm -hmm. I knew her well. Oh. <laughs> I know. Shut up. <laughs> by the way, but it was funny. funny. And by the way, you're not the only one who is passionate about the classics. Uh, Doug Walker has also, has also made a few uh, remarks when it comes to Christmas Carol adaptations. Ah, uh, well, I appreciate that, but really, Doug Walker has only acknowledged one individual on this stage. <laughs> <laughs> there is but one one man who can stand up there and be on the same level as a guy who has been doing this even longer than we. Yeah. <laughs> Doug Walker's actually my father. <laughs> no! All right. All right. Next question. <sighs> okay. Um, just before I ask my question, I got to say this is an absolute honor to be able to talk to you guys in person and meet you in real life because that has been one of my biggest brony dreams ever since I saw your first bronies react. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I know I've uh, spoken to Dustin out a few times already, and definitely, it's, it's, ooh, it's a great time. Yeah. So I actually had two questions for you guys. Uh, first of all, I know someone already did ask about your best and worst, but this is a question for all of you. What is your person, personally, what is your favorite uh, Bronies React of the ones you've done, for all of you? Uh, I know everyone will say, the T-Rex one, but no, like, that hurt my throat. Um, <laughs> let me see. Um, God. You know, I don't mind crying on camera, but it's like, oh. Okay, get, get back to me. We, we know you don't mind crying on no, camera. No, no, exactly. <laughs> I was just like, oh, Grace, just take this. Oh, God. Um, oh, my. I think I was, I was, think I was still off camera for this one, but the Halloween, when you were dressed up as a box. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Yeah. That one was just Wouldn't crazy. That, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I want to know when you stepped in to keep him from dying. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Like, I mean, like, by the time he started just really wheezing really heavily, I was like, are you actually okay? <laughs> you know what's so funny about that? I remember this because it was like... A, a few months prior to that in Skype, I remember this so vividly, uh, me and our good friend Hirasashi, who's not here right at the moment, but like, he's like, um, we're, we're just like, he's part of our group and stuff like that, and we're like um, talking in, uh, about like, I don't think I've ever seen race break, like I've seen race like, laugh, like <laughs> and like that's it, but like, I've never seen him like, you know, completely lose it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so like, um, like a couple months later, you literally do that, and you are losing it, and I just like here, look at this. <laughs> like here, look at like just like breaking. Yeah, everyone, it. everyone's like mm. thing about that it wasn't really about the laughing, but more of like, wow, well, I didn't know he could turn so red. Yeah, oh, no, exactly. Yeah. Uh, you know, no, okay. I'll to go back. I really like the ones where you did the costumes for the Halloween ones. So I like being Bane. I like being Jason. Mm -hmm. And then like, I, okay, I do really love the Tyrick one and stuff like that. That's the one I always get like you know, prized for. But like that is that was a lot of fun to do. But like I really did. I do think the ones where you got to dress up like in costumes for Halloween. I thought that was just underrated, in my opinion. So all those. Yeah, I think every one that I did when I did costume. Yeah. Right. Basically, when I did Applejack with the bass and the hooves. Yeah. And I did. Uh, uh, when we did the same one that you did with the box, right? I, I dressed up as a, a cowboy and I had a, a little wooden gun and I clocked myself. Right. And you ran with that joke and you just like, <laughs> I was out for like half the freaking thing because I couldn't yes, take it. <laughs> it was, yeah, Octavia. every time dressing up was a costume. Octavia. Mm -hmm. Octavia, yeah, Octavia. Uh, jumping my motorcycle over a shark. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. That, that, was, that was cool. That was cool. That Gabe got credit for it. That Gabe got credit for it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you silver? I, I really enjoyed the reaction to Pony Life, the first two episodes, simply for the sheer what am I watching factor. I mean, I, I, I got to freak out a little. Viva had that marvelous green screen humor of, oh, oh, I'm growing now. I'm big. What, what is this? Just no one really knew what we were watching. Right, right. It was psychedelic. Yeah. I can't think of a particular episode, but Viva though is probably the funniest person in the entire series. Yeah. Mm. She's hilarious. She is hilarious. Well, thank you for your question. Oh, oh yeah, too. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, and actually, I did. I don't think I got your favorite. To my see. so my like I said, it's to, back to my answer from earlier. Is uh, it, it's it's the one to the end of Generation Four. Okay. Yeah. 
And the second question I had is that uh, there's all kinds of theories about uh, Gen 4 and the show, and some of us are always wondering, like, what if this happened? What if that happened? Um, personally, like, again, question for each of you. Uh, what was one thing that didn't happen in the show that you kind of would have liked to happen? Oh, uh, Celestia using like her full power, like actually, like being like, oh, this is how strong I actually am. Like this is how cool, because like, they hinted at it briefly, but they never fully went there. Like I wanted her to have like that moment where it's like, no, this is why I'm person and like boom. And like, you know, during the finale have that moment, like her and Luna just like completely go at it. But like, they just like, they never went that far with it. That was the one thing I was just like, come on Celestia, unleash your power, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> But like, mm. I'd have to agree with that. I, I would have loved to have seen Celestia at the end give just a hint of Daybreaker. Right. It's like, this is what I could be if you really make me angry. Exactly. Right? Discord, stop it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just at that one moment, she looks at him and gives him the, the fire eyes, and Discord goes, oh, I've seen that before. Right. I don't want to see that again. Mm. Yeah. He just shrinks down. Yeah, it's like he shrinks down like this and just gone. I wish we had like an alicorn, like, prequel episode or just kind of a throwback mm -hmm, where mm -hmm, it's like mm -hmm. Celestia and Luna as kids and having parents. I would have loved that so much. Mm -hmm. yeah. Great. Now you got me thinking of two sisters react to uh, Pokemon. <laughs> oh, <yeah. Yes. laughs> Classic. Great. Classic. Classic. Yeah. I'm, I'm personally going to just kind of echo what we've got up here because like with these kind of questions, like I, I've been like, no, I, I enjoyed what we got, but that's a good point. That's a good point. Right. Seeing Celestia full power, I, I would definitely be down for that. Do you? I would have liked to have seen Applejack struggling with more with asking how to run the farm now. Her parents are sadly gone off screen. Granny's getting out there. We had an episode that reinforced that Granny's in charge and that they do things a certain way. But there's also that phase where you, you inherit the responsibility and have the, oh no, what do I do now? What do I keep? What do I change? I think that would have been a very good uh, growth episode for Applejack. And she didn't get as many as others. She was always the even keel of the main six. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for your questions and great, great to see you. So great to see you guys. <laughs> Have a great day. Nice you too. Hi. I'd just like to start off by saying thank you for adding, for providing positive content to the fandom for over 12 years and more. You're very welcome. Very welcome. And the actual question I want to ask is, do you have a favorite car, like your dad's old plow truck or just a specific model? A favorite car? <laughs> I like that. It, it starts with the old plow truck, though, because like, that's <laughs> kind of on brand for me. I, whenever I used to like watch movies, I'm like, I like the beat up vehicles. Um, you know, I, I grew up as a fan of uh, Dodge Vipers. I was like, those always look so cool. And what I want one. I know. I, well, as you grow up, Dusty, you learn things. No, as a mechanic, <laughs> you understand which cars are good and which cars are crud. That's why I say so that. It, it may look good on the outside, but normally when it does look good on the outside, the engineers put absolutely no thought into how to work so, on it. Well, that's why he drives a Cybertruck now. I know. Uh, yeah. There is actually a Cybertruck in the mall across the way. They've got a For sale? For sale. In the mall? Cybertruck. It's probably one of those things that they do in malls where they just have like a random vehicle yeah. in there. Like, yeah, it's, no, it's someone parked it in there instead. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. I think it's the only place where it might pro properly function by standing still and not doing it. No. no uh, so I'm, I'm a I'm a motorhead. I like I like vehicles that are really loud. Um, and so for me, I would have to say that my favorite uh, vehicle is the 2024 Rav4 that has excellent uh, fuel mileage uh, and. Uh, Makes a really. I just yeah. We're gonna put a turbo. Sarah, we're gonna Sarah double turbo got, that, and it's gonna get twelve miles a gallon. Sarah finally got her car that she Yay, wanted. Yeah. 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 She's like, I got a commute. I need a good car. Mm. But uh, I like I like beat up beat up old cars. That's kind of yeah, like the plow truck you talked about. So that'd be my answer. Yeah. Oh anyone? Oh okay. I okay. So I remember the first time I saw it, I was like. I, I need this and like I and I like it's one of those times where it's like I had moments to get it but it's like I don't really need my my car works well but like I really vibe with the 2008 Bumblebee Camaro from Transformers ah. like that one I was just like I need you okay like that was like the one where I was just like I need mm. uh, my choice is is more based on history than any brand loyalty my dad got this uh, big red Ford truck I forget the brand model 
But over the years, it, it took on such an identity. It, it, he delighted that he could attach a kayak rack and go up to the mountains. And we would help launch him. I'd go biking, and you know, we'd meet up. He put on bumper stickers of my, me and my brother's alma maters, Gonzaga and CU. He put on a McGovern sticker uh, in the 2000s. <laughs> Mm. And people, people were like, who's McGovern? My favorite mm. president. But the but the best part is that our golden retrievers would get in the back seat. You know, the, there's the cab, and then a very very small area for back seat, and they would just press their noses up against the back windows and smudge them up. Mm. We have a plaque at home. That's not that's not a stain. That's my dog's nose art. Mm. Uh, Sadly, those dogs are no longer with us, but we have preserved all of those smudge marks. And I swear to, uh, that's that's beautiful. Beautiful. I I swear to God, when the day comes that that truck can no longer function, I'm going to cut out those windows yes. and mount and put them in a protective place. No drop of water will take that. Yeah. 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 That's beautiful. Um, you all know I'm old. What? You all know I'm old. So, right there with you, um, when I was 16 in 1980, <laughs> um, my dad said, hey, you and your brother, come on, we've got a car for you. What do you mean, got a car for us? we got a car for you. Okay, so we go out to his buddy's house, and we go up this long driveway, and he said, come on. So we, we go walking out, and there's a car out in the middle of a field. And it's like, uh, that? Yeah, we're going we're gonna to pull that out with the truck, and you, that's going to be your car. It was a 1968 Chrysler New Yorker, four door, 383 four barrel, pumpkin orange, and because it was from Michigan, completely rusted from here down. So we put ball joints on it and tires and ran that thing into the ground. And that was my favorite car. Nice. Nice. I've always really uh, enjoyed the old aesthetic of like a classic Thunderbird. No, oh, nice. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I like I said a rap for, and she's like, I like the Thunderbird. <laughs> you see Toodles in American Graffiti, like with the hair, just like, <laughs> driving along and getting yep. chased by AC Race Best all over town. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what I won't get is a BMW, because time and time again, when YouTubers finally make it, they buy a BMW, and then they implode afterwards. <laughs> it's like the biggest red flag where it's like, I buy a BMW. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear the fan was going. No! Do it. Well, thank you for your question. Thank you. If we can get a, oh, you got it. I got it. <laughs> Dusty's on his way. Hey, yo. Hey, how's it going, dude? Um, I got a two question. My first question, what is your favorite poem? Favorite poem? Favorite poem. Yes. Favorite poem. And second question is, can I take your pitch to a red space? Because you got, I got a bony, you got a bony. We have the same shirts again. Yeah. Yeah. History repeats itself. Yeah. We'll get a photo after the after the panel for sure. Okay. For sure. Yay. Okay, uh, favorite favorite ponies. Uh, Applejack. The human version of Sunset Shimmer. <laughs> Fluttershy. Yeah. Fluttershy, bros. Rain Bodash. I'm getting to that age, Dusty. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do what I used to do. <laughs> he, he already survived Larson. Don't make him go through more. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh, question for Saber. Yes. Uh, out of all the panelists, I've watched your content the longest. Oh, thank you. And I am dying to know how you came up with a concept for your series on reacting to cringy spinoff movies and series. And I wanted to know how you can force yourself to watch these cringy videos for entertainment. So, uh, thank you for the questions. I decided to go with cringe content because I'm cringe myself. Um, also, and that's why I can watch it for so long too, because I come from the cringe void. Cringe but free. Exactly. Cringe but free. Freedom. Yes. No, I mean, I, uh, in the early, or in mid-2010s, when I started doing more, like, video essays, I suppose, I was like, oh no, I'm running out of, like, 
you know, what, what were in Nickelodeon, what were in Cartoon Network. I'm like, I'm running out of ideas. I like bad movies. They're just fun. Like watching um, Mr. Science Theater back in the day and just seeing them, you know, just riff on films. And I'm like, I would like to just review bad movies because it's just fun. It's fun. Mm. It's fun seeing, like, not in spite of them, because there's a lot of bravery to make anything, period. Uh, I, I do stand by that, that even the worst movie, there's still merit and admiration because someone's sincerely trying to make something. But you can still get something like a time where so is the room where it's like this hilariously bad. You know, what were they thinking? And that's the moment you're looking for is when they are giving it their all and it's just not hitting and it becomes really funny and hilarious. And that's why I do what I do because I'm cut from that same cloth where I've been there before myself making a fool of myself. So, yes, that is the answer more or less. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Two questions for you guys. What is your favorite uh, MLP uh, culture reference, like pop culture reference? And who is your favorite band? Band? Oh, band. so like, do you mean like MLP in like a like a movie or something that, that wasn't supposed to be in? Yeah. Like, oh, okay, like how John Cena did that fire man movie and then like yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> it was very funny yeah. when he was wearing that Princess Celestia shirt. Yeah, and then they had that whole My Little Pony party and stuff like that, and it's just like, yo, Fluttershy, she's my favorite man. It's all like that was that was really good. That was really good. Um, um, favorite band. Uh, am I basic if I say Linkin Park? Because I still like really listen. To, I, 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 I still like listen to every single dad. Just like he's still crawling in his skin. Exactly. <laughs> I go, I'll go back to the uh, the classics when it comes to favorite band. Acoustic Brony. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have listened to a ton of music in my life, and I have to say, probably have different genres of favorite band. But, you know, I'm still a Foo Fighters fanatic. Yeah. Love the Foo Fighters. But I've been listening to a Japanese band called Bandmade for a decade now. And they are basically a five-piece female Japanese rock band that dress up as maids. Nice. And it's a concept that you cannot believe works. But they play amazing rock music. You should check them out. Nice. Uh, I really enjoy the band Embrace, especially their song Ashes. Nice. Uh, I don't know if that'll mean anything to any of you if you haven't actually heard it, but I recommend you look it up. I think my favorite reference to My Little Pony was on The Daily Show. Mm. Uh, but I believe they were looking into the mind of Carl Rove, and oh. like they actually just zoom in, and suddenly they're playing a clip from, of all things, G3, of the pony <laughs> celebrating the new princess, and John Stewart's like, oh, who knew he was a brony? <laughs> Meanwhile, I could almost hear in the distance, like, that's not the right answer! Yeah. <laughs> oh! That reminds me of something. So this is something that got me when I was watching Black Widow. So like they have a flashback in Black Widow to when um, Natasha is a little kid and then she's with her sister and stuff like that. And it's supposed to take place during the 90s. And her sister has like a My Little Pony like a plushie. But it's from G4, and I'm like, well, that just wouldn't make sense because that is just not good. And I'm just like, and I was just like, in the theater, like, no, we completely ruined the. the I'm, I'm not taking out of it. Now. Well, you're the only person in the theater watching the movie, so. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I uh, I Scarlett Johansson in the audience. Yeah. <laughs> so, so for me, in the, uh, uh, so you know grew up as a Chippendale Rescue Ranger fan and then they made the live action movie and then seeing My Little Pony yeah. pop up into that I was like yeah, hey yeah. Didn't, didn't think I'd see that that was like all three because you had like Zootopia Chippendale and My Little right? Pony and I was like you did something really. <laughs> yeah. I was like you did yeah. something yeah that letter writing campaign worked out for you really well right? real good yeah. real good so, Either the characters from Breaking Bad were in Ponies or Ponies was in Breaking Bad so same not an answer and then for me, it's like, I don't have a favorite band. I just got this giant playlist of like, I like this song. I like it. And that's, that's, that's what I do. Yeah. Yeah. You have a favorite band? Oh, I'm, I'm kind of like Saber, where I just kind of like listen to just about anything and everything. But I feel like I probably listen most to, um, I don't know if anybody knows, Cody Fry. He does a lot of like orchestral pop music. So like his music has a lot of really fun orchestral or cinematic style to it. So. Yeah, I'll bring up yeah. Jap Japanese, 80s Japanese city pop. I'm on a big kick for Japanese 80s city pop. Absolutely. Nice. nice. All right, well, thank, thank you for you. your question. Thank, thank you. you so much. Pleasure thank to meet you. you. Thank you. Um, I have two questions, actually. Now, at the beginning, 
you gave an example question, and I got to ask you now, what are your favorite colors? Orange. And what Orange. is your favorite food? Uh, those are the two questions? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my favorite colors are brandy wine. Oh. oh. Because my dad had a 1979 Suzuki GS1000 that was brandy wine color that he gave me when I was 16 years old. And that's my favorite color. Um, and my favorite food would be Detroit Coney Island hot dogs. Oh. 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 All right. Uh, I know you're probably expecting me to, to say this color blue. Is da -ba -dee, da -ba -dee. Da -ba -dee, da -ba -dee. That's another band I listen to. Uh, and my favorite food is shrimp. People say, oh, but that's the insects of the sea. Well, call me an anteater. Yeah. <laughs> Because I slurp them up. Yeah. Uh, again, for me, orange. Just I really love Goku and then Michelangelo from TMNT. Those are always like my favorites. And then Naruto, all that stuff. So I really have always loved orange. And food-wise, it varies. Because like sometimes I'm like, oh, man, I could really just go for a great burger. But then other times it's like, there's mac and cheese. And then other times it's like a, this, like, you know, like noodles and stuff like that. So like for me, I would just say... A good burger, like, always, like, hits it for me. Like, if you got a perfect burger, that always hits it for me. I got a video about that. You can make mine. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. I, I'm also going to say uh, blue. And favorite food, I'm going to say uh, a wet burrito. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Okay. And I my answer, kind of. Uh, purple, for me, for color. And, I mean, a really good steak. Yeah. That's, like, it's top tier for a reason. A good prime rib. <laughs> Uh, my favorite color is blue. Yeah. For food, I feel like you can never go wrong with uh, spaghetti with like a nice, tasty meat sauce. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for your Thank question. You. What about you? Favorite color of food? Yeah. <laughs> my favorite color is actually blue as well. Yeah. And my favorite food, I'm going to have to go with pizza. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Bring a New York hat on, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. So it's going to be pizza. pizza. All right, Cody, thanks. my man Cody, what's up? How's it going? How's it going? Is a hot dog a sandwich? Oh, God. <laughs> no, a hot dog is not a sandwich. A hot dog is a taco. Yeah, yeah, I saw that video. I was the one who first asked that question. It depends. If a taco has meat in it, it's a hot dog. Yes. What about a corn dog? Because you fold it like that. Yes, because right? it's folded. folded. like that as a taco. <laughs> there, there was a... Oh my god, I think there was a, a great video where someone... Cereal is American gazpacho. Yeah. <laughs> there was like a great the German police? Down. Huh? Oh, I think that's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for that question. Yes. <laughs> the kind of quality we're looking for. Christian, Christian. get up here. <laughs> Christian! Hey. How you all doing this morning? Doing oh, we're doing great. All right, so surprisingly, I had to write down my question. <laughs> Ooh, so, okay. I, it wasn't all thought. It was, uh, I had to be really thought out. So, um, so it's con uh, my question has context to it. <clears throat> okay. Um, so when I first started watching you guys, I was 17 years old. My life was a mess. I didn't know who or what I wanted to be. But once I got to watching My Little Pony, and after the years of watching most of all you guys' content, I knew whether it be planning behind the scenes to make events work out, uh, analyzing in depth about pony episodes, being a cornerstone in the pony community to stay brony, working out to be the very best you could achieve for yourself, showing me how much, um, sorry, showing your passion for cartoons around the world, and last but not at all least, showing me how much fun it is to be at these conventions and to make lifelong friends along the way you all showed me to be myself. So there is no question today about how, there is no question today about how some of you got kicked out of a Walmart. <laughs> how you guys went to a Denny's where the eggs were congealed. <laughs> what your experience was like during 2013's Hard Rock Cafe. <laughs> or, or how Tim the Skeleton is doing. <laughs> I just wanted to say, I just wanted to say, Thank you for showing this now 29-year-old how to make the best out of my 20s and for giving me that push to be myself. Aww. To be a singer, a gamer, a writer, sometimes an artist, a Bernie hype man, but most importantly, me. Thank you, and I love each and every one of you. You are all immortalized 
in my heart. Christian's one of the nicest people we've met. You know what? As, as long as you don't... As long as you don't take me to a taxidermist, stuff me, and put me on the mantle... I will not do that. <laughs> Christian, thank you again. Yep. Yeah. Thanks, this, you're like the hype man of convention, so we always love seeing you at these. Yeah. Um, that that means the world to hear something like that. Yeah. It, it really does. Yeah. To all thank of you. Us. Whenever so whenever we see you at cons, we're like, oh, it's going to be a good con. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a great con. Thank you, Christian. Right, thank you, guys. <laughs> you made me so, cry. <laughs> oh. Hey, Noah. Hello. How you doing, man? Hi. Doing good. Good. I good, am. good luck following up that one. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. Saber Spark, you owe me money. <laughs> <laughs> I have three questions for you guys. Okay, make them quick. Well, one is kind of silly. With is us? mayonnaise an instrument? No, Patrick. <laughs> no, no, Patrick. No, Patrick, mayonnaise is not. not an instrument. What's your next question? <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite video game? Oh, Spider Man for PS1. Where Monster Rock chases you at the end and stuff like that. I just, I will replay that anytime of day. I think the original Ski Free. Genesis Sonic. The original game. The first game. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Ooh, okay. Test, test Drive Eve of Destruction. Mm. Halo 2. Yeah. Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah. I was kind of waiting for to see if anyone would say Superman 64. <laughs> we love and ourselves. As, and as for the final question, what is your favorite MOP G5 special? Make your mark episode and tell your tale episode. Mm. Oh, jeez. Mm. Mm. I like the movie. <laughs> can I count? Can I count? Can I like the talking horses. I, I, I yeah, like I the think movie. the original. Like Rainbow Dash. The original movie before all of that. Love it. Yeah. 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 That's. I would say that's like my favorite. That because I can't think of like anything post that where it's like it, the movie. I was just like, I love this. Yeah, the movie. Yeah, the movie was so. a good start. Yeah. Let's go back to that. Yeah. 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 All right. yes. Thank you. There was like a winter Thank special you. for the Make Your Marks. That would yeah, there was a winter work. special yeah. uh, with the the blue ponies and the whole thing. And the, the, yeah, that was kind of nice. Can't remember much about it, though. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for your question. Now, we only have a couple minutes left. Taylor, are you the last person in line? Uh, or is there no, someone there's behind like you? Two more. All right. Whoever's the last person in line, that's where we're going to cut off the line. We want to get through all your questions, and we're going to do our best to get Lightning through. round. Lightning round. You get one. Hello, heavy. Hello, hello. Hello. I'll make this quick. Okay. Is any of you thirsty? 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 This is a good question. Oh. I have some. I have some water with me for all of you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, I don't need any right no, now. I'm here right now. I'm good. Thank you. Do you have a sandwich? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you ate, ate the sandwich. All right. Next question. Sandwich. <laughs> What's your What's your favorite co comic? MLP comic. Ooh. Ooh. Um, oh, I, the I'm one where they met the Transformers. Okay, I actually, really, I actually watched that one. I was like, I, I like Soundwave and Fluttershy talking. Like, that was... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I think Nay Anything that they actually performed up here is one of my favorites. Mm. And just before that, uh, Zen and the Art of Zebo Repair. Starring yes. Big Mac and Tosh. Big Mac done a good one. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, our, our side hasn't really read the comics. We can't read. <laughs> we like cartoons. That don't have words. Thank you for your question. Hey, hello. Hey, how's it going, my man? Good, good. Um, two quick questions. Um, will any of you go to BabsCon aside from Dusty next year, seeing it's the final one? We hope so. We hope so. Yeah. And also, this may seem controversial, but Star Wars prequels or sequels? Prequels. 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 Yeah, prequels yeah. all day. Yeah, like Dark, the Dark Maul fight's insane. The Anakin Mustafar fight, insane. It's just like uh, prequels yeah. are kind of messy, but like at least there's more sincerity. Sequels to me feel a bit more derivative yeah. and corporate. Yeah, Jar Jar Binks all the way. Yeah. yeah. Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> all right, Taylor. 
So, Race, I have a question for you that you might relate to this since you hired me to do low-budget TV this year. Yes. So, if Equestria owned a pro late model team and you got up to three cars, okay, which three ponies would you pick to drive for your team? Okay, uh, Applejack and Rainbow Dash, you immediately are going to throw in there, mm -hmm. and then uh, Dusty, I'm going to I'm going to go to you. Who's the best Wonderbolt that we should throw in as in the third car? Fleetfoot. All right, there you go. Awesome. Thank you, Taylor. Taylor. Like, I thought he was going to ask for a raise or something. <laughs> Where's my health care? <laughs> All right, our final two questions. Hi, uh, I wanted to know what you all think of Sadie Spark. Oh. What do we uh, think of Sadie Spark? She's, she's hot. She's pretty hot. Yeah, she's awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, she's awesome. pretty dang hot. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't watch Sadie Spark. And you can buy merchandise for her too. Go on my websites. Yeah. <laughs> pretty hot. Hi. The last question to finish off this awesome panel. Do you know that purple is not a real color? <gasps> You're being paid off by lobbyists to say that, aren't you? <laughs> Purple's not a real color? No, it doesn't exist. It just, our eyes register it as a lack of other colors like red or blue, and that makes purple. There you go, oh, Twilight okay. Spark. I'm living a lie! <laughs> well, now, yeah. now we know. I can't even see you. Uh, now Who we know. That? Yeah, thank but you. my pony is purple, so my pony doesn't exist either. There you, well, yeah. thank you for thank you. Thank you. Folks, thank you so much for coming out to the Bronies Rip panel. Stick around for charity action coming up real soon. Yeah, Woo! it means the world to us to have you continue to support after all these years. I don't think we're done making Bronies Rack, so stay tuned. There might be. Yeah, one he's cooking. Happen. He's cooking. I'm cooking. Thank you all for coming out. Have a great rest of your day for Free Northwest.